Hello. Hey. How's it going? A lot um, of good dancing going on there. Yeah, dance party's going. Very pog. I like to see it. Yeah. Uh, Justin and I have unfortunate news. Uh, as a stream, we owe a hedge fund $5.2 billion. Yep. Um, I figured I'd start the stream off with a little bit of topical humor. For we short sailed TTR. Yeah. Uh, we shorted our own stock. <laughs> And uh, it got picked up on. There was some chatter across some channels, and uh, we got people squatting on that stock. So, um, we'll let you know how it goes on Sunday. It's not looking good, but it's not looking great. Hey, but unrelated, we do need someone to redeem a championship match. Yeah, for the Sunday. Yeah, so we need uh, two. Who's got? The points to throw down Challenger for Light Tasker. Who do you think? There's a lot of discussion about a lot of who discussion. a good Challenger for Light Tasker would be in what's the a Discord. Good, what's a good counter to Light Tasker? We've got some decks that have historically performed well against Light Tasker. So, all right, I am on Michelangelo. You're on Michelangelo. And you're on the Archon who measurably, measurably emits this. You don't have any picks. Leave stream on, and you can maybe get enough points. And don't work like that. Uh, it may, we get an average of one viewer. <laughs> Something with Kixel stand. That yeah, that's it's a legitimate bad. Uh, bad. idea. You have the Archon who measure limits this now. Um, take a look at the deck list. Sixty nine sass, the sweet spot. Oh, that, that's like the common. That's for Michelangelo. Um. So, uh, it, the, the Archon Who Mits This has got a pretty saucy spread of cards. Um, I would say. It's got double Eddie, double Tau Tau Vapors, Memory Chip, right? Seems all pretty good. It's got Greater Oxtet and double Exhum, and a Born Its Touch. I honestly think that deck uses Born Its Touch on itself. I think that deck wants to get itself down to, like, six discs, six, um, uh, logos cards hmm. and then like cycle Ronnie a bunch of times. Two right? vapors, it's got memory chip as well. Yeah, it's a very you got buzzles, you got you got ways to cut the deck down to um to where you're just playing Eddie every turn. Yeah, it's uh it's definitely um there's a consensus of a match you'll throw your points at us. All right, so um, Art Boy is willing to throw. Challenger up against Light Tasker. Chat, your job is to convince Art Boy who to challenge Light Tasker. That's what we have tasked you with. Or someone else could just redeem something. Or somebody else can. You can you can take the decision away from Art Boy. It's up to you. But uh personally I don't um it'll be it the it'll be a deck that I have to play. Against Light Tasker, right? Um, you don't want to. You don't want to put something that's got. You don't want to put a, like a Barkus Rex. You don't want to put a Fugitive Adler. You don't want to put a Rush deck up against it, right? I think that's just asking to get shellacked. A couple people mentioned Hellmollen. Hellmollen's definitely interesting. I think that would be really interesting. Um, I think it would be a long game, but it would be interesting. Um, eight. Eleven. Uh, Justin, these sleeves are kind of interesting. What, uh, what would you say these are? Those are... Uh, oh, these aren't actually those the are mat. Not, those these are, are not, not mat. They just do silver. kind of feel like it, but they're just silver mat. They're not non glare Hell Mullen versus Light Tasker. Yeah. Uh, I think Hell Mullen would be an interesting choice. I do too. Uh, was was I first? Or we... I rolled the 11, I believe. I think you rolled well, an 8. Probably didn't roll the 12 then. Um, so, I'll draw. Oh, that's, oh the, that's the wrong one. That's the wrong one, yeah. That's the wrong one, Art Boy. Yeah. I think somebody can redeem that, though. Or a mod can redeem that. Or not redeem, but refund. You gotta, I have, you got a 20k for the, the champ match. I will play daughter. Okay. And draw. Still like deck with Annihilation Ritual versus Light Tasker? 
I like uh, we were talking about Christensen, right? Yeah, that, Christ, I mean, that Christensen could... has it's got some big, big beefy boys, and it's got annihilation ritual. That's something. Um, All so. right, I'll say Logos. I'll play Hologramophone. I will play Wormhole Tech and Eddie and. Your turn. Okay. All right, I am going to say this. I'm going to play Cinder. I am going to play Hecaroon. I am going to play Brattle, and I will play Xenofiend. And I am going to put Soul Keeper. Um, it is enhanced with the capture icon. Capture onto Picaroon. And it is your turn. I will draw five. Hmm. I'm gonna play Dis. I'll play a Dendrix. I'll play Lilith. Uh, I'll play Buzzle. I'll purge Dendrix. Oh, yeah, to get a build a bit more. Okay, so Art Boy's a little short. Art Boy's leveraged his position. He's sh he's short sold the title match. Art Boy, I think you're in real trouble, dude. I'm gonna fight the Xeno Fiend. Okay, toast. Uh, nothing to steal. Nothing to steal. I purge something to kill Brabble here. I think I probably can purge this and then fight Brabble. Okay. And then I'll play Bornet's Touch. Uh, do I go with the old purge myself? Uh, sure, we'll try that out. Yep. One, two, three, four, five. Um, Misery Exploit, the least likely to be useful, right? And that is my turn. In the stream get turned to the big sh uh it's just because of the um it's just because of current events i would say i am going to say logos i'm going to play opposition research so you cannot uh, reap i am going to play prescriptive grandma bot and i am going to play odd clawed and daughter is just going to reap And it is your turn. I will draw three. Okay, I'll say Logos. Play a memory chip. Play. I can't reap, right? Yeah, I cannot reap. Okay. I'll play Vapors. Draw two. I have a card. Play Vapors. That dude was actually in the news. I have a card. I'll play Wild Wormhole. Or Breaker Hill. Oh. Yeah, that actually works here. Okay, I'll steal one with Eddie. Yep. Oh. I'll play Wormhole Tech Eddie Archive Ward Eddie Wormhole Tech will relax. All right, I am going to say Untamed. I am going to play Ghost Hawk here and Reap with Grandma Bots. I will enrage uh, Wormhole Tech. I will Reap with Odd Clawed. I will play Quicksand. Destroy the most powerful creature controlled by each player who does not control a ready untamed creature. All of your creatures are power three, correct? Yeah. So I will so kill so. this Eddie. Um, I am going to reclaimed by nature the... Um, I'm going to get the memory chip. Um, I think it's about even between the memory chip. Oh, Cinder dies. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Cinder's dead. I am going to play Key Frog. Okay. Um, I am going to play Lost in the Woods. I'm going to select uh, Key Frog, Ghost Talk. I'll get Breaker Hill and the Warded Eddie.
And then I am going to play stream debut of Look What I Found, which is an Omega action. Play, return one card of each type, action, artifact, creature, upgrade from a discard pile to my hand. So um, I had not actually had a chance to see this yet. Um, it does seem pretty sweet. Yeah, it seems pretty good. Uh, it uh, unfortunately it actually kind of bungled. I, I bungled it here. I, I think I actually pitch it. <laughs> okay. I, I discard it because all I have actions in Untamed and Logos, and then I have creatures in Dis. So I would end up putting split stuff back into my hand. Mm -hmm. So I think I just discard it here. Oh, you just discard it. Okay. Yeah, return one of each. So I can just discard it. It does have Omega on it. Um, so I think it's just easier for me to discard this than it is yeah. to play it. And then I will draw six uh, up to seven. So go ahead. I actually wanted, I was hoping the daughter would die before now because I could get back the Soul Keeper with it. Um, so I'll right. right. say Shadows. I will play a, not that, a Ronnie. <laughs> Steal one. I will have more Eclipse. Okay. Funky card, um, yeah. I'm gonna play a chain gang and then I'm gonna play another kind of clips. Okay. And that's it. I am going to say this. I will play Waking Nightmare. Uh, I will play an Umbra Fiend and two Cinders. And it is your turn. I will draw three. Um, I'll play Shadows. Play the Hugger Mugger and capture one. Play a chain gang, play Ronnie and steal one. And I'll say check with six. I mean, it's keys. We don't even have any keys on the table. Oh, yeah. Not quite been to where we're forging those yet, so. Okay, your turn. Alright, I will say Logos. I'm going to play Lethal Logica. I am going to play QMX. Oh, it's dope. I'm going to play Eclectic Inquiry. It's two damage icons okay. on it. So kick out! Shoot down, Ronnie. Uh, and archive the top two. I am going to play Daughter. And I'm going to play BDQ. So I am going to shoot the Q mechs and Eddie. I am going to shoot Umbra Fiend and steal one. And uh, yeah, I'll get the chain gang. I'll take out the Cinder and may as well take out the Hugger Mug. That way, if you zoom Ronnie, you don't stop the key. All right, it's your turn. I will draw four. Seven. Yeah. Uh, I'll say this and pick up the archive. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. That, that inquiry, inquiry was a little bit, was not, uh, was not charming in nature, right? Uh, I'll say this and not pick up the archive. I will... Exhum. I'll play Buzzle. Play Soul Keeper. My own. And that is it.
Hmm. Yeah, this is an interesting matchup. I I feel like Already. these are I feel like these are both higher octane decks than we've seen in the whole rest of the tournament. Yeah. So. Hmm. Hmm. Yep. I am not entirely sure what to do with this turn. Um I think I think I have to let you forge this key. I'll put my archives in my hand and say untamed. I am going to reclaim by nature the hologramophone. Eats my precious artifacts. Yeah. I am going to troop call. Back. Singular Niffle Ape. I will play Fandangle. I will play Keyfrog. I will play Niffle Ape. The damage will go to uh, Eddie, I guess. Then I will discard Song of the Wild, and it's your turn. I will draw two. Well, okay. I'll say shadows. I you have five cards in here. I do. Okay, so I do have check now at eleven. So I forge. Uh, I'll say shadows. I'll play Breaker Hill. I will. Bug daughter. I'll play a Kymore. Maybe the deck had three Kymore, so I've been trying to play around it all game. Now uh, that is my turn, so you can forge for plus five. Ugh. Yeah. Okay, I am going to say logo. So we'll play auto encoder. I did not realize this deck had auto encoder. Um, I am going to play Q Max and draw. I am going to play prescriptive grammar bot, and I am going to play odd Claude, and I'm going to put a discombobulator on. Um. I'm tempted to put it on this prescriptive grammar bot because I have seen very little things in your deck that even come Everything close to three power. Uh, ever <laughs> come close to threatening a hazardous three creatures. So yeah. I'll put this uh, discombobulator on the grammar bot. And it is your turn. I will draw three. I will play Logos. Play grammar bot of my own and a bibliophile we're arguing over <laughs> phrases i'm gonna reap with the a tech. turn of phrase that plays a tech he plays the other wormhole i am gonna reap with eddie i'm done Okay. Hmm. They can. What's the breakdown of what's left in my deck? 
what have I not seen stuff? Um, uh, this, uh, it's just way too much value represented on the table there. Um, you got that fan angle though. Yeah, well, I can't get there. Can't quite get there. Yeah, I, can't. I guess you could use if you had like logo stuff. Yeah, or if I hadn't thing. paid eleven for a key, yeah, uh, I would have stuff. Um, I am going to say dust. I'm just going to uh, I'll reap with sender, and then I'm going to gateway. A QMX go here. Everything else is dead. Um, I you call logos for the rest of the game if I don't do something there. I'm gonna play Xenophene and pick a rune, and it is your turn. I'll drop a chain and draw two. Uh, I'll say this. Play Exhum. I will play puzzle, puzzle, purge here. I think I do. I don't think two puzzles hanging out doesn't really. I'm just going to reap with it probably though. I could kill Picaroon. You'd kill both. If you... I could kill Xenophy, but you would steal one. Yeah. And I kind of want to threaten this turn. Yep. Yeah. Killing two creatures is pretty good. And nah, I'm just gonna read. Okay. Measure. Uh, I'm gonna play not finished with you. Shuffle and Ronnie Eddie. And Chain Gang. Mm. I do draw all those. Then shuffle. Draw one. Okay, oh, yeah, measure. Mm. I am going to say <laughs> Untamed. Uh, I am going to play Ghost Hawk, Reap with Xenophiend, and with Picaroon. I am going to play Trimble and Niffle Ape. And that's my turn. I'll drop a chain and draw three. So I will shuffle. I'll forge. All right, I'm going to say shadows and pick up the archive. Uh, okay. Play Breaker Hill. Play Ronnie. Steal one. Play Chain Gang. Play Subtle Chain. Ready Chain Gang. Discard Effervescent. Okay. I'll steal one with Chain Gang. I'll shuffle in. Subtle chain. It's gonna be one of many things I shuffle in. Uh, I'm going to I'll go in Chimera Eclipse. Oh, did you archive for the item cutter? I did not. Uh, before you do that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hock it. I meant to hock it first. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, I'm going to Lethal Distraction, Trimble, and then Pestering Blow it. Three damage. And... Uh, you get rid of my Effervescence, so I lose. Whew. This deck, uh... Yeah, it seems pretty good. Plays. You'll see in about a minute. We were hanging in there. I was hanging in there, but then I paid a lot for that key, and I think it kind of deteriorated from there. Yeah. I uh, didn't actually mean to threaten that turn because I wanted the pile of amber. I figured, so that way yeah. Fandangle could do some ridiculous stuff, but I wasn't keeping track. And I, was, I part of me was like, I'm gonna. There's no way I don't forge one of these keys for a pile based off of the number of eddies, like the number of possible eddy plays this deck can do. It just always gets it back. All bets are on me that game. Yep. <laughs> Jeez. What's the what's the sass on Michelangelo? I know that one's sixty nine. Michelangelo was sixty nine. Oh okay. Yeah. I thought uh Archon was. I don't think Archon is. I think Archon was different. I missed Archon, but it's seventy six? Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it feels like a seventy six. It, it, like I said, it, it feels like a tier level above everything we've played in this tournament so far. And that deck honestly feels better than most of the decks that we've played. Yeah. Um, Man, you could uh, you could kill your own key frog with Eclectic Inquiry. Yeah. That's hilarious. You get the, you're, if, if you're at five, you play Eclectic, get to go to six to gun down your frog. Yeah. I didn't even get to use the Oxtet that game, but if I had Oxtet, Oxtet was just chilling in my archives. But if I feel like I had Oxtet to sit an Eddie behind, that would be in that much better shape, right? Yeah. I think you want to purge like most of the disc stuff except the actions. Mm, yeah, I mean, I think you eventually purge the not finished with use. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I think you, I think... Um... But you like the exhumes, like something yeah. to play And I guess it. you don't hate the not finished with use, because if your deck is like 20 cards... You load um, up your next draw. Yeah. Yeah. There's probably some. Do you, do? you probably ground it. shadows actions you purge. Where do you ground it? You sleep ground. You sleep ground. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's fine. Yeah, as you were. Dream of intruders. He could dream about whatever he wanted, and he just dream about somebody breaking into the house so he could bar him. <laughs> you literally choose anything, Eddie, in your dream lands. Yeah. Just realize. Just realize your dream in forehead. Yeah, you just pile up those actions into the archive. Exactly. Yeah. And it's, uh, it's got some plays. You can only play around Camera Eclipse so much before they just play two or three in a row, and you're like, yeah. okay, I mean, there's nothing I can do about that. But what did I roll? You're first. Oh. I am not going to Mulligan. I don't think this hand is bad, but I think this deck can reliably do better. But. This hand's pretty questionable. It has auto encoder, but it's a 3-2-2. So like the rest of their hand isn't that good. It's like play some creatures the turns. Yeah. I don't think it's not it's not good enough. And it would really feel bad if it's like play auto encoder, you get it gets hawked. And then I'm like, okay. <laughs> so much for that. Play the untamed card that gets it back. Two reclaimed vineyards. Took me a second. Uh, you were um, destroying my, all my artifacts. Yeah. He had had memory chip the whole time. <laughs> God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Even all our gramophone was troublesome while it was there. Yeah. The the action economy and logos in this deck is. Are you just having two insane. freaking. Um, uh, Tal -tal. Tal -tal vapors? Yeah. yeah. Dumb. All right. I will. Play Logos. I will play this Claude. All right, measure. Yeah. Or I'm going to say Logos. I'm going to play Memory Chip. I'm going to play Tal Tal Vapors. 
play this. And I will play Hapsis and Babbling the Bile. Your turn. Alright, I'll say sh I'll say Untamed. I will discard Song of the Wild. I will Flame by Nature the Memory Chip. I'll play Quicksand. Kill. Our boys. Your turn. Alright, I am going to say logo, so I'm going to reap with babbling bibliophile. Achievement unlocked! For all two. I am going to play a Wild Wormhole. Or Subtle Chain. Hmm, okay. Then I am going to play Eddie. And I will Archon card. Your turn. Well, I'll say Logos. I'll Bouncing Death Quark the Eddie. And then I'll play Eclectic Inquiry to kill the Bibliophile. Super kill it. Yeah, super. Your turn. I am going to say dis. I'm going to play Born It's Touch and I will choose myself. Hmm. I think the Wormhole uh, attacks are probably fine targets for it. You kind of like them. Um, maybe. You kind of like them. Um, because if you stick that Logos board, it's pretty good. Yeah, with it, like because I think you can get a huge snowball yeah. Logos table, right? That you you basically you generate the worlds collide Logos table where it's like all of our creatures have actions or relevant abilities. You don't know which ones to kill first because they're all threats. I think it's probably Hugger Mugger. Um, I think Hugger Mugger is a safe call. Yeah, because I think you want to get rid of the least good shadow stuff, and I think this deck stays ahead in the race the whole time. Mm -hmm. Um, so. Eddie's just make it say ahead, right? Yeah. Right, right. Yeah, and Hugger Mugger is like a Hug non-bow with the Chimor Eclipse, so. Yeah. Yeah. Hugger Mugger doesn't do enough by itself, so. I think Hugger Mugger is easily the weakest link there. Um. All right. So I am going to play Greater Oxtet. Now, the end of turn order is. At the end of your ready card step, which is before you draw. Yeah, so um, yep. uh, you purge a card that's still in your hand, right? Yep. I am going to exhume Eddie. And I will archive a card. And all right, so uh, ready cards, purge. I will purge Lilithal to Greater Oxide. I could play it there, but I kind of want to keep the other card in my hand. And then Greater Oxdet gets two plus one plus one counters. The engine is alive. <laughs> and I will draw five. I'll say this. I, I can't allow the engine to exist. Simply cannot allow it. Play Gateway. And then I'll play a Xenofiend and a Waking Nightmare. Drop a chain and draw two. All right, I will say this. I'm going to play not finished with you. I think it's just Eddie. It's like tempting to get the ox debt, um, but I think it's just Eddie here. The only thing I worry about is like if you shuffle in an Eddie, do you still have one to exhume? Like you might want to exhume one later. Um, I can always exhume the ox debt. Yeah. I think in this case. Um, so I will not finish with you, uh, you Eddie, and I'll play Dendrix. I'll play Buzzle. Um, and I don't think I purged the Dendrix here. I do think the actual discarding cards from your hand is relevant in this matchup. Um, and I will say check with six. And it is your turn. I will.
I already played one exhumed, so. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm going to say this. I'm going to fight Buzzle. Get one. I'm going to... I'm going to discard Dark Minion and Cinder. And that's my turn. The reason being to not get... Just butt it up with <laughs> more clips. Yeah. Um... All right, I will say this. I, I I did draw the exhume, of course, naturally. Uh, I will exhume uh, Oxtet, but like I said, I'm I think I'm fine exhuming Oxtet here. Yeah. Um, I will put a Soul Keeper on Oxtet, and I am going to purge to the Oxtet. I think Pestering Blow. Yeah, it's got an Amber on it, but um, I think it. It can go away. Yeah. Um, oh, I guess I'll reap with Dendrix as well to go to eight. And I will say check with eight. Um, purging. Oxtet gets two counters. And I will draw three. Your turn. You're just going to have to watch us go to red. You can't be watching Dynamite at the same time anymore. You have to deal with it. Luckily, I watched it on Fight TV. Great. Uh, I'm going to say Untamed. All Lost in the Woods. Those, which is another reason I discarded the creatures last turn. Um, I, 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 there has been so much shuffling in this matchup. I'll play Ghost Talk and Key Frog. I'll play Look What I Found. One card of each type. So I think I only have actions and creatures in here right now. But I think I get this Inquiry and this Odd Clawed. And I'm done. All right, so I will forge. And I will put my archives into my hand and say shadows. Um, out comes Ronnie. Uh, Kybor to say in goes Ronnie. The shuffling. The shuffling. Blame Keyforge the shuffling over here. <laughs> I will play the lethal distraction. I will play the hawk. Uh, I, I'm just not. Uh, I'll play Breaker Hill. I'll play Chain Gang. Um, I will discard this second kind more. Um, and it is your turn. I will draw four. Okay, I'll say Logos. I'll pick up the archive. One, two. Play Eclectic and gun down Breaker Hill and do a damage to Chain Gang. I will play Qmex and draw. Play opposition research. I'll play a clod. I'll play a grammar bot. I'll give the grammar bot discombobulator. Say so check with seven. All right. I will say logos. I'm going to play hologramophone. I'll play prescriptive grammar bot. I will play two wormhole techs. And it is your turn. It's pretty spooky. I will draw four. I'll forge. I'll say untamed. I'm going to reclaim the hologram of phone. Play a fandangle. Do a damage there. Play a ghost hawk. Reap. Creep and enrage the wormhole tech there. No. Okay. All right, your turn.
Okay, I am going to say this. And I am going to play uh, Forge. Oh, uh, yeah. Yep. 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 It's supposed to make Justin Forge for 11. Yeah, I wish. <laughs> um, well, I'm going to play Greater Oxstat. It's MF or dude. I am going to play Dendrix. That, that guy behaves like it has five copies of all creatures. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. It does, yeah. Um, I am. Going to play puzzle, but not purge or do anything. Um, I will ready. I'm gonna purge misery exploit. I wasn't quite in a place where I could puzzle like my line away mm -hmm. and misery exploit because of this guy. Um, but uh, that is that is a possible play in this deck. The puzzle um, misery exploit, and then I will draw four, and it is your turn. I'll say. This. We're going to start playing stuff already. Yeah. Play a Cinder. Play a Bramble. Play a. Just play this Picaroon here. And then. I'll put a Soul Keeper on. Let's put it on this Brabble. Capture icon, you don't have any amber. Nope. Maybe I don't put this on Brabble then. Um, yeah, put it sorry. on. Greater Axe has got two. Can I go to top? I will. Yes, this card's uh, Telltale Vapors. For, for those playing along, the bottom six cards in my deck were T Eddies and Telltale Vapors. If you're wondering why Justin was able to forge at okay, all, this I'm going to put this here and put this on it. This is going to fight the Grammar Bot. Captain Trade. Well, uh, die and then die and kill the Oxtet. Yep. With the Soul Keeper. And then. Fight the wormhole tech. And we'll fight the chain gang. And that's it. Check with six. Yep. I am going to say this. I'm going to play Blood Shard Imp. Uh, Dendrix is going to fight the prescriptive grammar bot. Uh, it, well, it dies, dies yeah. yeah, so it won't get to do this thing. Um, Puzzle is going to fight Cinder. Purge the Blood Shard Imp. Damn, is that correct? I don't think that's correct because you will. I had that stupid MF three times. <laughs> um, yeah. I don't think that's correct. Uh, Buzzle will fight Odd Clawed. Okay. I'll purge the Blood Shard Imp to kill Odd Clawed. I'll purge the Wormhole Tech to kill the Ghost Hawk. Something like that. Um, okay. And it's your turn. I will draw one and tell you to go ahead. Okay. I will forge. I'll do that to mitigate the fandangle damage. I'm gonna say logos pick up. Play auto encoder. I'll play a Lithologica. Daughter of him. Okay. I will play a daughter. Play opposition research. I guess I discard this EP. I'll reap with. Max, and I am done. Uh, 
there's no deck to archive with the auto encoder there, unfortunately. Right. I didn't reap with daughter now. Daughter, I just played the daughter that turn. All right, I am going to say shadows. Um, I'm gonna play Ronnie. I will. Yeah, unfortunately, it's not an active fandangle right now. <laughs> Mug the Qmex and then Kaimor Eclipse. I will end up drawing these, so I'm not gonna shuffle those because I'll be shuffling the discard pile. Huh? Uh, that's my turn. I'll draw and then shuffle and draw one more. You'll set up turn. Yeah. That's a good way to get rid of Fandang. Yeah. JGSLC. Appreciate that set. Two months. Appreciate that. Yeah, uh, it was definitely annoying. Um, that deck has some number of senders, right? Uh, um, like three. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it, it was funny that I had the two Kaimors when I didn't need it. Um, and then I couldn't find a Kaimor when I needed yeah. it in the bottom there. Um, so I'll go ahead. I'll say Untamed. I'll play Troop Call. I. I'm just going to discard Trimble and discard Keyfrog. Well, okay, I'm done. All right, I am going to say Logos. I'm going to play Tal Tal Vapors. Draw two. Have you played archive. Vapors this game? I played one really early, and this was the bottom card of the deck. I see, I see. Um, yeah, it's it like it's one of those where if I had... The reason I think this game is close is because I did not get the stuff that makes the deck faster. Mm -hmm. Um at all. So it's just, it was just at the bottom of the deck. Um, I'm going to play the other Telltale Vapors. Uh, I'm not mad. I'm laughing, actually. It's funny to me that this game is close. Uh, I will archive a card. I am going to play Hapsis. I'm going to play two Eddies. And archive two there cards. There was a lot of shuffling. At some and point you did that to yourself. I'll play Babbling Bibliophile. <laughs> okay. I shuffled in almost exclusively. Um, uh, I'll draw six. I shuffled in almost exclusively Ronnie's. <laughs> Play Cinder. So. Play Cinder. Play Dark Minion. Reap with Cinder. Blow up the Dark Minion. Play Misery Exploit. Yeah. I'm if dead. only. Three Cinders, huh? Yeah, just hanging out. Just guys being demons. Hmm. Put the put the squeeze on you. <laughs> Give me the short squeeze. Put put the short squeeze on you. Uh, I think I say shadows here, and I am going to mug, um, a sender. I will lethal distraction, a sender. It doesn't matter. Okay. Um, and I will, um. Play Kai more, because I don't actually want you reaping with that stuff. Did you want to like put two damage on the cinder, the lethal in the mug? Um I don't think it matters. Okay. I don't think it matters. Okay. And it is your turn. Okay. Don't come crawling me when you want two damage on cinder. That's all I'm saying. I don't think it matters. <laughs> I don't think the damage on the center matters. He's so overconfident. No, I'm just saying. I'm just saying the damage on it will not matter. Okay. I'm not confident that I'm going to win the game. I'm just saying if I lose the game, it's not because of that. Uh, I'm going to say Logos. All effervescent. Yep. I will play Odd Claude. 
all eclectic and gun down the eddy. I'll play a discombobulator. And done. Yeah, the misery exploit is a is an argument, but it was purged earlier, so. Okay, I will uh, put my archives into my hand and say dis. Um, I am going to play Dendrix. I am going to exhume Eddie. I am going to put Soul Keeper on Eddie. I am going to play Not Finished with You. There's one creature in the discard pile. I will play Buzzle. I will play Buzzle and purge the other Buzzle. Who's going to ready and then I'll just reap. And I will say check with six. And it is your turn. I will say this. I'll play Soul Keeper on Cinder. I will I'll fight Eddie. Yeah, whose so destroyed it's... effect will kill Cinder, whose destroyed effect will kill Dendrix. Yep. I get to capture one of the Soul Keeper. Okay. I will play Cinder and Brabble. For sure. Okay, I am going to say shadows. I am going to Kymor. Oh no. I will hawk my precious bobulator. It's your turn. I will draw three. Just a later. Oh, I guess this puzzle is technically shuffled in. So I drew this shuffle in. Well, uh, I can't stop anyways. I do have a waking nightmares all I have, but it's only one, two, two. Yeah. So, okay. Dang, I tried. Yeah, I th I I think I drew a bad hand with this deck. I think this deck is capable of much more, and I think that deck uh, completely negates the artifacts in this deck, which I think if is those are pretty left to huge. do their thing. If memory chip is just <laughs> left on the board, I the what? Like, but I guess we'll find out in the future yeah. round, right? Uh, yeah, this deck is a banger. It's this cool. deck, this deck slaps. I'm glad this deck lived up to its name because yeah. the Archon who emits this is an awesome name. So yeah, this. Uh, um, pretty, pretty good. It's fun, dude. Yeah, it is fun. It's got it's all the it's all the fun combo worlds collide stuff, right? Yeah, it's um, only missing like Star Alliance stuff, but right. it's it's got the dis. Picked a good one there, real purple. All right, we'll see you all the next studios. AOA versus Coda. This is our last, last of the new, new decks. decks. Before we move on to round two. Last of the new. Okay. I I'm am on Hacker. On, okay, I'm on Moon Care. Fortress Commander. The hacker that protects aspirations. Moon Care. Moon Care. Hmm. Theme song. Fly me to the moon care. Hacker is 71. Moon care is 56. 56. Okay. 
I think this is a deck that punches above 56. I'm being honest. This is a, this is a deck that is criminally underrated by Sass. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying it's amazing. I'm just saying this deck is not 56 Sass. You got double Exhum. That right there makes the deck like 78 Sass, in my opinion. <laughs> Straight to 78. Straight to 78. The two... And it's AOA, so it's automatically 10 less Sass than it should be. Yeah. Now, it's Shadows... Lamindra, Umbra, Yancey Gang. Three creatures in Shadows, huh? Huh. Huh. I think this customs office is well positioned against this deck, though. Because this deck is three Dominator Bobbles, <laughs> a Hallowed Blaster, two Potions of Invulnerability, a Seeker Needle, a Subtle Maul. So, I think Customs Office is looking pretty good in this matchup. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're right. I have. <laughs> I can win with Brobnar decks I'm not supposed to? Yeah. I would say it's a blessing. I definitely did that at, at Nationals, though. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. A mulligan for it would not be a bad idea. Depending. If you're, like, on the fence about an opening hand, you're like, okay, just yeah. go ahead and do it. Because it just, I mean, it's it it junks up your... Um, it junks up your Hallowed Blaster, right? Your Hallowed Blaster is immediately a dead girl. Hey, give me the dice. Pick up the dice. Fetch. The dice. Yeah. The cam doesn't work. What does that do? Hit the wrong button. Hold on. <laughs> Hold up. What's happened? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about what? Don't worry about it. Eddie. Pick up the die. <laughs> Pick it up. It's right there. It's right there. It's right there. Give me the dice. Pick up the die. Give me that dice. Wow. <laughs> what do I feed you for? I think he's deaf. Do you understand the word dice? Dice? Come on. One night, Eddie. Uh, I rolled a six. Uh, what, did I roll? Nope. That was your roll? Okay, seven. Yeah, I'm first. Uh, all right. Uh, this hand's bad. Okay, I'll throw it away. I'll keep this. This is real weird. It was a four and three hand, which is usually like not the kind of hand you want to throw away, but it had two blood shard imps in it. Yeah. Well so <laughs> I mean I get that Sass is overly harsh on blood shard. It also has two amber imps. Blood shard imp and amber imp are just like junk up the board. Just abs just forcing dinosaurs to fight them for <laughs> That's awful. You want to reap? You got to go through the four of us. <laughs> Is it the picture of the Sinister Six? Yes. Uh, <laughs> me, me and my boys. Me and, the, me and the boys when you go to try to reap. <laughs> it's just a bunch of imps. So Martin's. Don't make that meme. <laughs> the shark. All the anti reap. The uh, shock worm. Yeah. And... yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever wants to put that on Reddit for free karma, it's yours. We gift that to you. Um, I am gonna say shadows. I'm gonna start with hidden stash, and I am gonna archive a card. We'll draw three. Go I'm ahead. gonna play shadows. I'll play probably phantom. I'm gonna roll as whispers it to seal one. I'm gonna play two pawn sacrifices. I'm done. All right, I am gonna say Brobnar. I'm gonna play Grok. I'm gonna play War Grumpus. I'm gonna play Flame Wake Shaman. Flame Wake Shaman is gonna shoot the War Grumpus. And it is your turn. We got a classic game of Key Forge over here. I'm gonna play Sanctum. I'll Radiant Truth to stun the War Grumpus. He's gonna uh, beat up on God. all directions. <laughs> I'll play a Bulwark and I'll Inspiration. Oh, it's Ready and Reap with Bulwark. Alright. Check with six. I am going to say. Shadows. I'm gonna play skeleton key. I'm gonna put a bone rot venom on bulwark. My bones. Bones look pretty safe to me. I'll play whistling darts. 
I'm gonna play a Lamindra. And I will play a Furtive Investors. Um, and it is your turn. I will draw five. Torch. Easy enough? Yeah, stunned. No, oh, yep. JK. JK, 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 JK. Um, I will play this. I will Dance of Doom for five. I'll play Succubus, uh, a Guardian Demon. I'll heal one from this to do one for the Lamindra. Play the Terror. Your turn. All right, I am going to say Brobner. I'm going to put the Archives into my hand. Um, I am going to play Amber Imp and Blood Shard Imp. Here they come. <laughs> I'm going to play Tentacus. I'm going to exhume Croak. And I will play Not Finished With You. And it is your turn. I will draw three with the succubus. Say, I will we'll play a secret needle and a subtle mall and the naughty the thief. All right, I am going to say Brobnar. I'm going to play a screech bomb. I am going to play a calfine. I am going to put Blood of the Titans on Groke. The War Grumpus is going to unstun. Um, Groke is going to fight. Succubus, I suppose. Flame Wake Shaman. I think just reaps. Dead. Yeah, toast. Yeah, she's toast. It's fine. I got another exhume. All right. And it is your turn. I will draw four. Say check with seven. Well, um, I'm going to say this. Play Dominator Bobble. I'll fear the Groak. I will fight the cow. Oh, I had chicken armor. armor. Yeah. It's just not yeah, armor. I'm just used to everything being purged after the last. Yeah, and no, I'm gonna fight Blood Shard Imp, and then I'm gonna heal to. It doesn't actually take the damage because. Oh, I'll. Yeah. Uh... Well, you could heal two off of like the terror. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. That's better. To kill the Amber Imp. Yeah. And that's my turn. Alright, so I will forge. I am going to say this. I am going to play Amber Imp and Blood Shard Imp. They're back. Uh, I'll reap with Tinnicus before yeah. I play them. But yeah, Amber Imp and Blood Shard Imp. I will play Yurk and discard Heist Knight, um, and I will play Not Finished With You. I think I will shuffle in the Flame Wake Shaman, um, and that will be my turn, so I'll shuffle and uh, draw for The Sanctum. I'll play this Potion. I will... Put the Protect the Weak on Bulwark. Play Lord Golgotha. God, not him again. Yeah. Uh, Bulwark. Bones are pretty weak. Think about his bones. <laughs> they're, they're, not, just not, they're not the way. They're not looking so good. Um, but if he reaps, he explodes, so. I can fight Yurk, take one, and then take two. 
extra armor. I'm done. Alright, gonna say Brobnar, gonna play Groak. Um, gonna have War Grumpus fight Naughty, it's elusive. Uh, and then Groak is actually gonna fight Bulwark and punch an Amber out of you. Um, and then I will play Flame Wake Shaman. Yeah, I'll play Flame Wake Shaman and shoot Naughty. And it is your turn. I will draw. I'll say this. Play a Dominator Bobble. Play a Tolos. I will use Dominator Bobble. You have, have to pay me one for Tentacus. Oh, that's, that's totally worth. Um, gonna fight Tentacus. And then before the fight, these explode and you gain two. And then Tentacus dies. Oh, sorry, gold. Yeah, my Tentacus dies and you gain one. Take three. I will fight the Blood Shard Imp. I guess I fight Blood Shard Imp with Guardian Demon. And then I can heal this damage to do it to Grok. I gain one. I gain two. And then Error can fight Flame Wake Shaman. And you gain one, I gain one. I will arise for this. Yikes. And I'll play Terror and a Succubus. I'd say check with six. All right, my turn? Yes. I am going to say Shadows. I'm going to play Special Delivery. I will play Throwing Stars to kill Tolus and put a damage on Succubus and Terror. Uh, and I gain one for the Throwing Stars. I will play Umbra. I will Skeleton Key onto Umbra. And um, I will tell you to go ahead. So you check with seven. I will draw two because it's like this. Say Sanctum. Play a Hallowed Blaster. Play a Take Hostages. Uh, the Customs Office, by the way, is in the bottom six cards. So. <laughs> yeah, I'll play Reentry. I will fight the Ghost. And I capture one. I'm done. Capture one, you play Take Hostages. Take Hostages, okay. All right, my turn. Yeah. I will forge. I am going to say I'm going to say uh, this. I'll play Lash or Broken Dreams. I'm going to special delivery the succubus. Uh, I will go ahead and Screech Bomb. I will play a fair game. That's three. Okay. And then that's two. Um, okay, that's that. Your turn. All right, I'll forge. I'll get completely crushed. I'll say shadows. Uh, it's too power. It's too powerful of a shadows turn. I'll bait and switch for one. Yeah. And I will play a silver tooth. I'll play moon cursor. I'll use subtle mall. Oh, I'm supposed to draw. Yep. Oh wow. <laughs> this deck it turns out this deck had some powerful artifacts that I could have had the whole game. Yeah. Useless. 
Chrysalis, Silvertooth will reap. Seeker Needle. It might just be worth leaving Mooncursor alive. Dominator bottles on the table. Um, so I'll just pass. Okay. I am going to say Brobnar. I'm going to play a Gauntlet of Command. I'm going to Flame Wake Shaman to kill the Mooncursor. And I'll play a Calphine. And it is your turn. I will draw two and shuffle. Wow. The best two cards in the deck were my last two cards. I'll say... In my opinion. This. I'll play Dominator Bobble. I'll play... I'll Reap with Terror. Play three Fates. And kill all those. Oh, we have to kill Golgotha. Um, that is fine. Oh, I could reap with Golgotha first to dominate your bubble. And then Guardian Demon, reap with Silver Tooth. I'm done. Uh, you're outside of lash range and everything. I, the, the Cousin's Office and Drum are not one of my bottom two cards. Yeah. So I didn't have this Gauntlet of Command until now. I desperately needed the Gauntlet of Command so I could actually fight with Justin in that game. Because uh, like I don't have a I don't have a clear answer for Golgotha that doesn't involve punching him. So um, I would have to I, I needed like the Gaunt because Golgotha fought all of my stuff, especially when combined with like the Guardian Demon and just yeah. Um, I think this matchup is closer than that game may have. Oh, suggested. for sure. Yeah. So definitely because Customs Office has changed the whole thing. Right? Yeah. Right. You you had all of your artifacts out before I played. Before I drew customs office, I mean, so I think, but it's possible that deck is just draw ordered. Yeah, it certainly doesn't mean anything oh. to fix the draw <gasps> order. I clicked the wrong name. Is there a way for me to? Well, too bad, everybody. You're leveraged. I picked myself as the winner for that game. Well, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's been a minute since he's done that, right? It's been quite some time. It's been quite some time. <laughs> That's what you get for betting for betting against the fifty six sass deck. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Well, I stop the steal. I, I knew what happened as soon as I did it. Stop the steal. Rig the lottery. Yeah, I know. Fair game. You're basically a hedge fund manager. Yeah. Sorry, Amber Hedge Funds in <laughs> chat. The common man got the upper hand. <laughs> the Ronnie Roleplay is robbing our <laughs> chat blind. Uh, and that's why they're not channel points. That's why it's a completely separate... <laughs> Holdle. Also, hey, redeem a match. Yeah. For Fight Night. We need a Fight Night con uh, contestant. We might need to call upon the uh, Andrew button there. Yeah. With his vast stores of amber. Yeah. Vast stores of mushroom, man. Diva deck? We can do that. Yeah, we'll look. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. I'm not a financial advisor, but you should definitely do that. Uh, all right, let's take the deck real quick. Yeah, just put it there. I'll bring it up. You do the exclamation mark E command. Verabat, spawn of Old Master. Okay, okay. Robnar Dissarian has to be Worlds Collide. We do ah, still, we do still need a title match there, Zoke. Yep. All right, so yeah, the the, the old Worlds Collide Robnar. Uh, 71 Sass. I do like the, the two Berserker Slams, and yeah. you got Pile of Skulls. I mean, that's something, right? Uh, and this is the rare Robnar deck that doesn't have... Creatures for you to stun uh, inside Brobnar with Warriors Refrain, like mm -hmm. uh, Stiltkin or anything like that. Pile Skulls with Brockus, so. that's definitely really good. Yeah. 
double double exhumes. Double exhume. Uh, I love fire breath. Fire breath's a great attachment. It is sweet. Um, double inspectors, bornets, gleeful mayhem. Gleeful mayhem inspector is always cool. Uh, one in furnace, nice. Yeah. Um, so you can exhume and furnace multiple times in the game. Rock grub is a solid. You even like in furnace and gleeful mayhem, then exhume and furnace, yeah. which is a good play. I like yeah. that play. Uh, three cards to it stop a lot of amber or um, like so. scullion the scullion the infernus to exhume and then it. exhume it yeah lots of ways to kill your own stuff inside disc which is uh which is actually subtly really important in worlds collide in my opinion um because it lets the exhumes it lets you turn on exhumes where you wouldn't normally be able to um so salt double tricerian legionary double therocentarian um to go with the Brockus. so i like that um that's real good you because Jarda. you've got um you got garganton yeah reader gallum uh yeah garganton you don't I guess steal. you only have stealing so yeah you don't steal but that is a good dead to have yeah um it's nice to have the garganton to stop stealing um and it's like your exhumes are actually like you have a lot of sideboard options um to go with the exhumes right your opponent's playing shadows you exhume a garganton you can exhume Brockus to try to close out a game. You can exhume Triserian Legionary to protect your Brockus. Like, there's a lot of cool stuff going on there. There's a, Those Warriors so. Refrains are actually seeming pretty good in here, too. Yeah, it stuns uh, Reader Gallum and Jarda. But Inspector, almost none of the other Saurians. Rub. But yeah. Um, and but you, know, you also have, like, the Bruise important. where you, like, put stuff out of range of it. Yeah. Um, yeah, I always... I liked that about Bruise with in conjunction with Warriors Refrains. So yeah. a lot of, like, the smaller Starlines creatures untamed stuff some of the smaller logos you can always stun all of that to keep it out of the way so snake gallon would suck yeah yeah but there's at least ways you can play around that right yeah uh i like this deck uh i love i love brobnar and sarian together especially with pile of skulls you don't have like a i didn't see a board wipe right so um that would be the absolute like best if you had the a way if you had like an axiom in that deck so that you could oh man um, axiom would be pretty good axiom the opponent just into oblivion um and uh pile up your guys with pile of skulls and then forge on the next turns volcano Bul volcano there, yeah. that's something volcano serviceable yeah, yeah. volcano will do in a pinch um so and at least it doesn't kill your guys yeah for the most part eleven eleven eight Six. Seven. Seven. So I am first. I will. Uh oh, people already bet. Yeah. Okay. I did start the bet before the uh the deck the bell. Ultra yeah, How's it going? Hello. Good to see you again. He's, this is a very comfy dog. Yeah. Pretty comfy. Pretty hungry. I probably should discount Eddie Treats now that we have way more stuff to spend channel points on. Still need a championship match. Still need that. Boom, good one. I'm just going to make it Light Tasker and uh, Mr. Jack Feet fight again and. No one wants to see that. It flicked that on there. <laughs> All right, I am gonna play Dominator Bobble. And go ahead. I'm gonna uh, draw. play as I will play Customs Office. Play Umbra. Play Special Delivery. Your turn. I am going to say Sanctum. I'll play Bulwark and Gatekeeper, and I will play Take Hostages. And it is your turn. I will play Brobnar. Play Flame Wake, do two damage to Bulwark. Play a Drummer Knot. Oh, it's a human. It's a human, yeah. Dang it. It is not a giant. I'll uh, I'll play Calphine, I'll play Calphine. I am done. Alright, I am gonna say Sanctum. I'm gonna play Protect the Weak. On Gatekeeper. It's going to be the Light Tesker versus uh, whatever the our worst possible deck is. Like the 46 Sass thing. Yeah. That's what it'll be. 
Uh, Bulwark is going to fight Umbra. Okay. Um, Gatekeeper is going to fight Calfing. Dealer's choice. Then I am going to Inspiration to have Gatekeeper fight the other Cal. And it is your turn. I will draw two. I um, it's like entirely possible that. Um, I could have taken a Shadow's turn, but that that was like way too much Brobnar. Four yeah. Brobnar cards is way too much. I'll so. play not finish with you. I'll play a Tenicus and a Amber Imp and a Blood Shard Imp. All right. I am going to say Shadows. I'm going to discard Bait and Switch. I am going to play Carlo Phantom. And I will play Subtle Maul and pay you one. And I will steal one with Carlo Phantom. And then I am going to Relentless Whispers the uh, Amber Imp. So, yeah, Again, one one for that. And there. Okay. And it is your turn. I will draw. I'll say Shadows. Ben Special Delivery the Phantom. God. I'm gonna play Whistling Darts. I will play a Skeleton Key and a Yancey Gang. And I'll deploy Lamindra here. Here's your turn. Alright, I am going to say this. I am going to play Tolus. I am going to play Succubus. I am going to Dance of Doom for five. So the Yancey Gangs. Tolus does work in this deck. Bro. Yeah, it does. It's really good. Tolus is doing work in this deck. Um, I am going to Fear. Rum or not, I guess. Um, it fights well. Uh, I am going to play the Terror. And then I will Dominator Bobble Bulwark to kill Bloodshard Imp. Put me to seven. And I will say check with seven. I will draw five. Oh, let's say. Robnar. I'll fight Succubus and then play a Flame Wake. Finish her off. Finish her off, yeah. I'll play. You gain one. A Drummer Knot and a War Grumpus. And death. Uh... Alright, I Forge. We've seen Ardrath versus Light Tusker yet? Yeah, that did happen in uh, yeah. an earlier tournament, and in the World's Collide tournament. So the, what happens is um, uh, Light Tasker wins the matchup because Ardrath doesn't steal Amber and Light Tasker does. And Ardrath does have a preset limit. It's like 60 Amber. But Ardrath can only stop about 60 Amber that the opponent generates. Um, so if your opponent is capable of generating more amber or just straight up stealing the amber from uh, Ardrath in the first place, then um, the, the the other deck wins. And so Light Tasker is capable of doing that. It's a long game. Yeah. It's a long, sweaty, sweaty game. Um, all right. I am going to say this. I'm going to discard this Dominator Bobble. I am. It is clear. We are clear to reap with creatures. I'm going to reap with Tolus. That is not always the case. I will crash the terror into Drummer Knot. You will gain one. Oh, it's elusive. I will reap with the terror. I am going to play three fates. Um, so Drummer Knot, Terror, that Flame Wake Shaman. So uh, gain one, you gain two? Yeah, I will gain two.
I am going to use the Dominator Bottle to reap with Bulwark. And then I am going to arise for Dis. And play Succubus and the Terror. I will say check with seven. Uh, you only have to pay for office when you play an artifact, not when you use one. Yeah. Tinnicus, so Tinnicus. Tinnicus makes you play um, when you use it. So now that the Tinnicus is gone, I can I can use the stuff that is in play freely. So. I'll say check with shadows. I'm gonna play a heist knight. Steal one. Okay. I will play throwing stars. I'll do a damage to the terror, that's all I can do a damage to. I guess I can kill my Lamindra. Which is probably fine. So I'll reap first and then kill Lamindra. Okay. No, you would gain one for that one, you? Yes. That's actually not worth it. But I'll just reap. Okay. Uh, I'll play Hidden Stash. I've used Skeleton Key. Get on that War Grumpus. I'm done. Check this out. Alright. I am going to say Shadows. I am going to Relentless Whispers Lamindra. So gain, gain Amber, Steel, Gain for the Tolus. Tolus won the crap out of this game. It's, yeah. I don't, I mean, I, I'm the, maybe counting my Amber before it's forged here, but all right, I'm going to Subtle Ball. Subtle Ball. Unfortunately, I couldn't kill the Tolus because I had two extra armor. So it's pretty much unkillable. Yeah, elusive two armor. It cannot die. Might as well have ghost form. Oh my god. I am gonna play Silver Tooth and Reap. Did you uh did you draw too many cards? Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, you did. Yeah. It's Not fine. even. It's fine. Not even one night. Uh and then I am going to pawn sacrifice. My silver cheats. So you'll gain one, and I'll kill both of them, and I'll gain another two. Goodness. And then get the ore grumbles. Yep. Say check with 13, it is your turn. I will draw four. A board key. I'll play this. I'll play Bloodshard Imp, Amber Imp, and a fair game. You do gain one from that. You gain four. All right. All right. I forge. Oh, uh, I play that. Nope, that's not the same turn. Never mind. Just kidding. What? Don't worry about it. Oh, it's your turn. What? Don't worry about it. Huh? And I wish I had a uh, lash or uh, the gauntlet commands again. <laughs> yeah, I had the customs obs, but you know. All right, gonna say this. Gonna discard my Dominator Bobble. <laughs> um, gonna Dominator Bobble Bulwark into Bloodshard Imp. That's a pretty fun fact. Okay. I'll gain one for the Tullus. <laughs> uh, Tullus is gonna fight Amber Imp. Uh, Terror is gonna fight Amber Imp. And then I will reap with Succubus. That's that. That's that. That looks, uh, it's pretty cool for a Coda deck. I don't know if it has the It's the cool stuff. for like a Sanctum Coda deck. It's right? going to have to go against the deck we just saw, though. Yeah. And I don't know what that I don't, I don't think I, it's got. I don't know that it's close. I don't think it's close. I don't think it's close. This deck was doing a lot of cool stuff. Yeah. Um, I would say the power level of this deck, like, like I would be happy with any of these sides in any Coda deck, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, it's that it's that that combination, it's that classic combination of all Coda cards that were above the curve, right? Um, that you were almost always happy to see. So yeah, uh, hacker, uh, certified banker, and that does it. There's round one, three round one. That's effectively halfway through the tournament. Yep. yep so, yep. um. We should be wrapping up the road to dark tidings. Yeah, on the road to dark tidings. All right, so I will click the right name this time. Okay, not that anyone actually won the amber on that on that bet. So uh, I can't I can't believe they bet after I screwed it up. 
Oh, the bet after I screw up the bet is always no, nobody puts money in. They're always like, mm, mm, mm. not gonna do that. Fool me once, shame on you. We need a championship match. What do we do? Who wants it? Andrew. He's thirsty. I'm just throw some points away, please. Which deck? Which deck is thirstiest? Am I gonna have to discount it? Are the are the stonks of paying for a championship matchup too high? Does it cost too much? Does it cost too much for you? If we have championship match forgiveness, uh, debt forgiveness, will the people who've paid for championship matches be mad at the people who have their debt forgiven? Probably. Human nature. Be mad for someone... Uh, Getting something for less than you got. Yes. <laughs> you had to work for it. There we go. Do you want to call it? It's up to you. Tell Faith us. Was shaking. Yeah, we got it. We got time for a peep. Yeah, we, we can take a look at it. Later tonight in Discord. Uh, uh, okay. All right. Building. Building the suspense. Oh. I don't think Christensen has an awful chance. I don't think so either. I don't okay. think it's amazing, but I don't think it's awful. We got. The bulwark that cordially hits ooze. Okay. Automatic winner on name alone. I'm I'm very sorry about this uh, ooze. Ah, oh, exchange officer. Exchanging a red penny. A star alliance red penny. That looks what awesome. Is red right? and, and it's enhanced. Yeah, what is it enhanced with? Yeah, that's sweet. And Kixie Stone. Okay. For Zap. Effervescent. You have a reverse time. Damage. Damage on red penny is not bad. Yeah, that's fine. Um. So, Ixel Stone. Ooh, this is got some spicy stuff going on. You got a borrow. Borrow is pretty good in a Kixel Stone deck, I think, because um your artifacts are suddenly very important, and you've got auto encoder. Hmm. Wow. Um, and two access denied. So that's really good with the stone, right? Yeah. In Yorg. You need um the big thing with Kixel Stone decks is you need efficiency. I feel like this deck is missing a slight bit of efficiency that you really want. You got a lot of card draw, it looks like, in Star Alliance because all the Infomorph. I'm guessing that the Infomorph stuff landed in Star Alliance for the most so there's, part. There's five draw icons. Yeah. So um that speeds the deck up, but maybe not enough. Survey does help. Um that lets you dig. Um, just having auto encoder automatically gives you an element. Oh, access denied. Is that the fight one or is that the reap one? That's reap one, right? Access denied is reap, right? Detention code. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's really okay, good. Yeah, so access denied is really good with Kixel Stone. You keep less creatures out of the opponents, they can't play anything and kill your own stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Like Makes it. sense to me. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, access denied is awesome with Kixel Stone. You could set up a board situation where you don't have any creatures in play, you just access denied the one creature they have. Um and you just kind of leave it like that. So, good challenger versus light tap screen. Yeah, this would be Krizap, effervescent, kicks a lot. I think I'm, I know that stone probably poses a real problem for mm -hmm. it, right? Because it's a symmetrical effect you can't get rid of. Yeah. So, and yeah. it's got twenty four creatures. So, you know, play three shadow guys and one last job. Them. Yeah, that's good too. Um, keep the uh, because you want your you want your shadow creatures out of the way, right? You don't want them in the deck. Um. You want like you want like bow knithing hanging around. Yeah, bow's probably good, and but, that's it. But shoulder it, cut purse, shadow smith, those are all gone. Ch exchange officer probably even gone. Yeah, yeah, he's, um, he's whatever. Yeah, so plays. Yeah, okay. I mean, that's a good. It's a good effect. Use but. a friendly Star Alliance card. Um, but you don't have any artifacts in Star Alliance that can be used, right? Yeah, nope. So, yeah. There's actually uh, not a lot of stuff to use in here. Uh, General Order 24 is also interesting with Kixel Stone because that like lets you catch up to whatever they have played. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Pretty good for Kixel Stone. Deck. Yeah, I like it. This and is it's got a deck. great name. Yeah. Sweet deck, sweet name. Um. Yeah. Ten of ten name. Great so. name. All right. Uh. So that is round one in the That's books. We'll fight be... night to be announced. Fight night four on Sunday. Be there. I'll be releasing. Graphics and all that cool stuff, Saturday-ish, for it, with all the matchups. Um, Roadrunner is going to be back for some commentary, announcing. After, yep. some, after some announcing. For Fight Night 5, we're going to have special guest Code Red nice. to do our ring announcing this time. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Very Pog, Code Very Red. Very Pog. 
Barry Pug. So that I'm looking forward to that. Don't disappoint us. Yeah. You don't, you got to earn the, the claps in chat, okay? Yeah. That's all I'm saying. You That's right, Code Red. This time it will be you be the, being the one that will be trolled. Yeah. So. Uh, so that'll be fun. I that's that's yeah, a stream. appreciate everybody hanging out tonight. We're yeah. Done. Thanks for watching. It's a short stream compared to our previous two marathons that we half done, so. the length, less than half the length yeah. of the last stream. Uh, so yeah, everyone have a great rest of the week, and we will see you on Sunday for fight night. Good night.